Eric the House Van Kouser here, one week out from the Olympia. I uh, wanted to give you guys my update uh, before I head out of town for Vegas. Um, everything's going great right now. Uh, diet has been spot on, um, training's been spot on, kept my strength throughout the diet uh, and the contest prep for the Olympia. I uh, wouldn't have changed anything up to this point. Um, at the one week out point, there's um, a lot of things that could go wrong and there's a lot of things that could go right. A lot of people hit everything right until that one week out point. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I do at my one week out for my carb loading and my water and um, all my little secrets here. Um, everyone always asks about what do you do like the week before and everyone has their own little secrets, their own little things that they, they do. Uh, I try to keep it pretty basic on, on my protein intake. Uh, I'm still just eating my fish because my body's used to eating fish and I don't want to throw anything in there that's going to completely change my body with the fish. Uh, Ten days prior to uh, my show, I, I do, uh, before I would carb load, I carb deplete, okay? So uh, ten, ten days ago, as of today, I had carb depleted. Um, I took all my sodium out at, at 10 days out before the show also and um, I'm still drinking two gallons of water a day. Um, with uh, five days until the Olympia I start my carb loading. Um, at five days out I'll add uh, two carb meals um, a day uh, which would be just oats with my basic protein with my fish just the eight ounces eight times a day. Um, at four days out I'm going to eat uh, four carb meals, two uh, oats, two rice. Uh, three days out, I'm going to add two more carb meals. Um, two days out, I'll add two more carb meals. And then one day, I'll, I'll add two more carb meals. So I'll be eating carbs with every meal the time the show comes around. And I'll be eating like every uh, two hours, usually the Thursday before the show, um, just uh, around the clock, just depending on how my body looks. Uh, a lot of the things right at the end on the day before the show, uh, two days before the show, they go according to how you look. Um, I usually cut my water out about 30 some hours before I step on stage. So say that I'm going out on stage, at, uh, the Olympia starts prejudging Friday at 7 o'clock at night. I'm going to make sure at least by 24 hours Thursday at 7 o'clock at night I'm going to cut my water and usually I'll do it a little before that. Usually 24 to, to 30 hours I'll stop my water intake. Um, doing that, I mean, it, from drinking the two gallons of water a day up to that point, when you stop drinking your water, um, basically what your body's gonna do is still keep flushing the water out because it's used to using the restroom a lot. So it's kind of like a little trick um, that you can do. You just keep water loading, 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 and then when you cut it out, your body takes a while to respond to that and it still thinks it's getting that water so it's going to keep eliminating it for the next uh, 24 hours and usually you wake up that next morning and before the show and you're pretty dry um, so my carbs basically on my carb loads I stick to a half a cup of rice or half a cup of oats on those meals that I was saying and just with the uh, the old uh, the old fish with each meal um, now the day of the show everyone always asks what do you eat the day of the show I still I keep it pretty basic that day. Um, I used to uh, put a lot of garbage in there before I would go on stage, like eat pancakes with uh, syrup, try to, uh, I don't even know why I did it, and, uh, <laughs> and eat candy bars backstage just to, uh, I guess, just to get you ready to go out on stage. But nowadays I just keep it basic, stick with the rice, stick with the oats and the fish. Um, I might throw in a faster acting uh, car, maybe uh, some jam on some rice cakes before I head out on stage, but, but nothing real dramatic. Um, usually the day before, or the night before the show, I had just a little bit of sodium in there since I had been depleted from my sodium for the longest time, and that usually helps me from not cramping the day of the show that I found, um, adding it back in just a little bit the night before. Um, Another couple things that I like to do before uh, the show, usually the week prior to the show, I, um, I usually take a bath in Epsom salt uh, every day, uh, every night before uh, I go to bed. I found that uh, that helps tighten my skin up and pull the water out from my skin. I do that every day up until the show. 
um, at a week out and uh, it seems to help me. I don't know if it's mental, but I always wake up the next morning after I've done taking that bath in Epsom salt and my skin feels a lot tighter and it seems like the water has been drawn out. And then when you cut that water, um, it actually, I think that it helps out with your skin tightening. Um, but everything's going great, guys. I mean, there's really no real secrets when it comes down to the last week. It's just keeping everything pretty basic, uh, riding it out, and uh, hitting your water and sodium correct. I mean, that's the hardest thing when it comes down to the week out. Um, so we're going to keep it basic this time. We're going to roll into the Olympia. I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'll be typing on the forum, so make sure you guys check back all week on my threads on the animal pack. I'm going to be posting pictures of me out in Vegas, posting uh, updates on what's going on also. So you guys, it's been awesome on the road here to my Olympia. Um, I'm going to do another video blog of me at the Olympia uh, to tell you guys what happened and what went down. So it was uh, nice seeing you this week and I'll give you another update and uh, a review of what happened at the Olympia next week. All right. Thanks guys.